this is going to be part two of a four-part series of the farmers. So you want to see what this is all about. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And uh, please remember to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
And what it does, it entitles the holders, uh, life peerage, uh, to uh, seats in the House of Lords, presuming that they meet the citizenship and, uh, and, uh, and age qualifications. The legitimate children of a life peer are entitled to style themselves with the prefix honorable, but cannot inherit the peerage. It is only for dad. Now, George's aunt, his father's sister, remember we were talking about George, I got off on Michael, but George's aunt, his father Michael's sister, was the late actress Susan Farmer, and that's a And that's a whole other video. But uh, so anyway, his son, the Honorable George Farmer, remember he's, he's entitled to use that, uh, that uh, title. So the Honorable George Farmer is increasingly popular. He's one of three children and currently part of the leadership of his dad's business, like I said, Red Kite. Uh, George and his father are better known for their political presence uh, in the UK and now a little bit in the US for, for George. Uh, Candace already got that uh, bag sewn up. So this is the Golden Dawn Tarot. Uh, by Robert Wang and uh, Dr. Israeli Rigardi. This is a U.S. Game Systems card. So these are great. They're, you know, um, from the era of the Golden Dawn. And uh, so the little booklet is uh, interesting. It actually has some interesting history in there about the cards and uh, and some good uh, suggestions for divination. So there's that. It's worth uh, giving it a read, uh, in my opinion. And then the cards themselves are handy to use. I mean, they're biggish, but not too big. And they're beautiful on the back and then lots of uh, ideas on the front. The uh, One of the people who came up with this design way back in the day, uh, his wife actually did this, uh, the painting of them. So it's obvious that this is, uh, the, the artwork is amateurish in here, but it's still captivating somehow. I mean, I love using these cards. So I do this so you get a chance to see you know, more of the cards than just the 10 or so that come out in a typical uh, tarot reading and um, maybe inspire you to uh, look at different cards and to see uh, what you like. These are, are nice cards that the Golden Dawn, they inspired the members each to design cards to their liking. And that's uh, where these cards come from. So we'll get this going with these. Okay, so here we go with uh, George, the Honorable George Farmer. What is this about? So what falls out of the deck is the uh, uh, Eight of Swords, uh, which is a lot of things coming at you uh, rapidly. And the Ace of Swords, which is a great big uh, offer uh, and I always want to say tr truth and justice. I don't know. I think these just fell out for my sloppiness. They don't really seem to have a, a meaning for this. But uh, George, the Honorable George Farmer, and uh, his dad is the moneymaker. Although George, I guess, is making him a living too as a, some sort of a trader. And now he's involved with all this uh, very right-wing uh, promotionalism on campuses. Uh, gosh. Uh, you know, you have to think that someone like this, like this fella, would have gotten into this uh, mindset, um, honestly, from his dad's way of thinking, I will guess that. And um, so we'll see how that goes. And his dad is in the House of Lords. Good grief. So what do we want to know about George? Well, let's see, is George legit? Is George really into his uh, activities, heart and soul, regarding politics? Is George legit? I mean, he's already rich, so he's not like his wife who was trying to find a way to become rich and did. And, and I mean, she was worth a million dollars before she met uh, this George. So, you know, she did okay from coming from nothing. And, uh, and then she's married into this guy, $180 million. So she had the jackpot. But George, 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 George Farmer, the Honorable George Farmer. Are you legit, George? Are you legit? Then we'll find out what else we'll ask after that. Six cards for George. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I always, you know, wonder about these um, extremist folks. You know, do they believe, or is it just um, an attention-getting um, device for them? Um, so, George Farmer, are you legit? Is this what's in your heart? Signifier for this card, death. I've got to tell you what's so bizarre about this. I just did the uh, part one of this four-part series on his wife, Candace Farmer, and this was her signifier card as well. If you don't believe it, go back and look. Okay, so signifier card is death. Uh, what's interesting about this card for George? Uh, death uh, shows here this, uh, this king, this crowned king, and I don't know who this would be, but as we know, the peerage that his father has ends with his father's death. And George is the Honorable George. I guess that goes away after his father 
uh, dies. He just, he's just played on George Farmer again. Uh, uh, so, death. Same signifier card that his wife got when I did her drawing. Amazing. So the challenge to this signifier is death for George Farmer. And the question I'm asking is, does he believe in what he's preaching? And I think this means no. The challenge of that is the Ace of Cups. I've got to go back and look at that other uh, tape. I don't think she got the Ace of Cups, but she did get it in her draw, but I don't think it was a challenge. However, the Ace of Cups is a uh, is a big offer. It's a big offer of compassion. It's a big offer of emotion. And so the challenge to um, this not, you know, this death, this end of this, uh, this is not uh, what he stands for. It's just what's convenient at the time is that it is a big emotional issue that pushes him up pushes his value up, his, uh, his uh, main value up. The base of this reading, then, is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the base of this reading is his dad. His father is the King of Pentacles. This is his father. Okay, so the base of this reading, then, is the King of Pentacles. And then the uh, past of this reading for George Farmer, the Honorable George Farmer, is the Princess of Cups. And you know who the Princess of Cups is? I think this is his new wife. This is his new wife, Candace Owen. So the past... Okay, he got her. He's got the Princess of Cups. What's in the sky for this reading? The sky for this reading is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is putting something together, collaborating with someone to make something for a public display. And that's what we've got here. We've got this Three of Pentacles held up on a branch, uh, fruitful. Uh, they're flowering out. And so this is what he and uh, his wife are shooting for. Some, some public notice. Okay, and then the uh, likely outcome of this situation, he doesn't believe in what he's doing, but it's a big emotional situation. He got the setup from his rich dad. Uh, he got a further little bump by, uh, she's rich in her name recognition, his new wife, uh, putting, putting something together for public display. Ah, so how many is this? This is five, six, seven. This is a seven of uh, pentacles. The seven of pentacles is usually, you know, wondering if I've done enough, but I think in this case, it's really being fruitful. It's really having produced uh, these, uh, these, these, these worths uh, on this branch, this value on this branch. So, yeah, it looks like um, they're heading up the old uh, right-wing political tree very successfully. So, uh, now I want to ask for George Farmer. For George Farmer... Is he going to enter into politics? Is George Farmer going to enter into politics? George Farmer, George Farmer, are you going to get into politics? I'm going to say that's probably not a good question to ask. And I'll tell you why. Because his father is in politics. I don't know where there'd be a place for him in that. And uh, his wife is trying to uh, nudge her way into politics. Hmm. So what can we ask about George Farmer? I just don't think that that's... A legitimate question as to whether he'll be in politics. Let's see. George Farmer. George Farmer. George Farmer. We feel like that you're just doing this for the name recognition. And so I want to know do you love Candace? That's what I want to know. Do you really, are you in love with your new wife, Candace? Are you really in love with your new wife, Candace? Uh, these don't really seem to be of value. So, George Farmer, are you in love with your new wife, Candace? Four cards. Signifier for that is the Four of Cups. You know, the Four of Cups is typically being offered something that you don't really want. Honestly. So, let's see uh, if this flushes out. So, the signifier of uh, are you in love with your wife, Candace? Offer something you don't really want. And that's in the environment of what? That's in the environment of the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is just beginning to be embattled. Um, this uh, Seven of Wands usually shows one wand that is dominant over the other six in the picture. So it has some value. It's just starting to get some action going. And so I'm going to say, you know, this isn't necessarily what your heart desire was, but this looked like a good way to get some action uh, started here. Um, some controversy for name recognition. And then the um, hopes and the fears for this then, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is truth and justice. And um, gosh, I've got to say that uh, I don't want to deny this truth and justice. I, I don't know where to put it, to tell you the truth. Um, the hopes and the fears. So I don't think he's afraid of the sort of, of truth or justice. 
Uh, maybe he hopes that this will come around to his way of thinking. What is this, the final outcome for the whole thing for George uh, Farmer, the hermit? So does this mean that he will eventually fade from view? I don't think he's going to take the traditional meaning of the hermit where you're trying to be careful about the actions that you're going to take. You're trying to shine a light on your future to see carefully where you're going to go. I think this might mean that he's going to fade from uh, from the scene. I feel like I should do three more cards on George. Um, on George. And I'm going to do it. George, are you in love with your wife? That's all I want to know, George. Are you in love with your wife? Don't think so. But let's see. Three cards, no more, maybe less. Um, so this is the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is getting uh, like stabbed in the back. So the second card for that is the seven or the six of wands and the six of wands are victory stabbed in the back and victory and then the last card for that is going to be the hierophant and government and rules and law so i think that what this is finally telling me here so oh oh okay so what might be happening you might be just looking for an opportunity to to push her aside uh to find a victory in uh, rules and law which could be government it could be world government. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, so what we decided to do was to talk about George Farmer. And the signified card I get for him in this draw, uh, if he's, uh, you know, for real, uh, in what he's preaching is the death card, just like I got for his wife in a previous draw on a previous day. Uh, the challenge to that is this big uh, ace of uh, emotions, a big cup of emotions. And I think that's the wave that he wants to ride. The, the, the challenge to that was, in other words, the base of the reading then was his father, the king. Okay, he's the guy who has made the money and, but, and has those political leanings, of course. And then the past of this uh, reading was, uh, I think, his new wife, uh, Candace Owens. So is the Princess of Cups. Uh, so lots of cups there. And the sky of the reading is uh, the uh, Three of Pentacles, which is you know building something together for, for public display. That's what they're doing. Public display being the key word there. And the uh, five, six, seven of uh, Pentacles is um, you know uh, bringing that branch to fruition, you know, a fruitful branch. So we have that. Then we say, well, but listen, do you really love your wife? And what I get for this is the Four of Cups is kind of being offered something that you don't really want. You take it, but you don't really want it. And it's in the environment of the Seven of, of Wands, which is just starting to be embattled, or it could be just starting to strike that match to get some uh, uh, recognition going. Maybe world recognition is what we're talking about here, since he reached across the uh, pond to grab an American wife. <coughs> and then the um, Hopes and the Fears is this sword of, um, of truth and justice, but I think he just wants to hold that sword up for the crown that you see on top there. So, and then the likely outcome was the hermit, which is kind of for me, for him, fading into obscurity. But I need a little more clarification. I said, well, what, what, what? Is it real? And so what I get for that is this ten of swords about his love for his wife. That's a stab in the back. I get the uh, six of wands, which is a victory. And what's the victory toward? The victory is toward the hierophant, which is government. And it's, I think that's his aim. Let's see how it plays out. What did you get from all of that? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.